by using that famous Iwo Jima image and saying basically what we have to do is what we did before World War II by, by creating a great national endeavor, a national effort to combat this problem and having an efficiency surge with energy all across the country. This is this massive effort that is, that is needed. You have to be ideally disruptive at the right timing with the right people. Well, you'll have to have to meet my husband, Jeffrey, who has a segment called Balderdash. It's a lie. And really? it's, it's pretty disruptive. Wow. You've been gypped. You've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled. You people, you people out there, I want you to get up. Get out of your chair. I want you to call Forever Green 13. This is a feedback show. Without feedback, we have no show. Uh, they t all talk about energy independence and then you see them go off in different directions. Mm -hmm. It is quite interesting because in order to deal with this, uh, I think Obama mentioned last night the equivalent of a Apollo project or a Manhattan project. Balderdash, it's a lie. Hey, what is the largest industry in the U.S. today? Real estate. Hey, what is the second largest industry in the U.S. today? Energy. Hey, what is the third largest industry in the U.S. today? Construction. Well, what happens when you combine all three of the largest industries in the U.S.? I'll tell you what happens. Jobs. Good jobs. High-paying jobs. Jobs that can't be sent overseas. We can change, yes, we can change the world. Balderdash. It's a lie. The West Virginia primary has just ended. What would have happened if one of our glorious presidential candidates said to the coal miners' daughters, we're not going to send your husbands and sons and daughters 10 miles underground in the dark, dank coal mines anymore. We're going to send them on every rooftop in the clean air and sunshine, mining sunshine gold for the next 10 generations. Balderdash, it's a lie. As I walk through town, I'm stopped every day. Jeff, do you really believe in global warming? Balderdash, it's a lie. It's not global warming I'm talking about. It's cheap energy. We're sending billions to the wrong part of the world. We're paying way too much for it. And we're not getting our money's worth. The United States of America is sitting here with getting oil from Saudi Arabia, from Venezuela, from Iraq, from Iran. Think about it. Which dominates our foreign policy. It's not only an economic argument, it's a national security argument. <laughs> No, Al Gore doesn't live here. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. I'm here to wake you up from a long snore. He may be wrong about global warming, but we're not wrong about non-oil, clean, cheap, green energy. I'm Jeff DeMarco, and that's the naked truth. Balderdash, it's a lie. I'll be seeing you next week. Learn the facts and stay green. And always, there is this reminder. Mother Earth, love your mother. She's the only one we have. What a wonderful world. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you for the naked truth. We'll see you next week.